you've seen the trailer and uh, we know the response that it's uh, been getting and it's releasing on the 24th of Feb. Uh, my lovely cast, the writer and the director of the film, Shashi Surigala, uh, is present here. Uh, but before we get into the trailer and the film and the release, uh, something very strange and shocking happened when I went to meet Mr. Mahesh Bhatt a few days ago. He saw the trailer. I basically went to show him the trailer and uh, he liked the trailer and then he looked at me and said, I'm going to tell people not to watch this film. And I asked him, I was taken aback and a little surprised. And he said that, uh, you know, Anshuman, uh, when I made Sadak, uh, I told people, don't watch my film. And I think uh, you need to say it because the kind of energy and strength this film is showing, uh, I don't think a lot of people uh, either have seen it before or not would be able to digest it. So it began from there and then uh, I just happened to carry the conversation forward which we then converted into a video which is what we are launching today. Uh, it's called India's first anti-campaign for features where we tell you uh, why not to watch Mona Darling? And uh, more than me, Mr. Mahesh Bhatt is going to tell you why we should not watch Mona Darling. And we launched the video here. Are we ready to play it? Can we have the lights out, please? Uh, ideation for a Bollywood feature film, uh, Mona Darling. I love all these four things, five things that we've listed, just for the record. I've grown up watching commercial Bollywood cinema. I love doing and watching all of that. Uh, but this is a film that is made differently, written differently by Shashi. And therefore, the idea is to uh, promote it differently, which is where uh, the anti-campaign seed was sown. Uh, without wasting much time now, I would like to introduce my lovely cast that is present here, an actor who I had the good opportunity to work with uh, in my last release, Choranga, uh, Mr. Sanjay Suri. Could, you please ha could we please have you on stage, sir? Uh, he plays the dean in the film, uh, Dean Chaturvedi, to be precise. Um, one of the leading voices in uh, niche intelligent cinema, if I may say so. Uh, the two leading ladies, without whom the film would never be complete. First of all, I will call our heroine for all practical purposes in the film. Last time you saw her in Biomukesh Bakshi, and now you will see her in Mona Darling as Sarah, the lovely and the graceful Divya Menon. Could we have a small, big round of applause for her? Next in line is the titular role in the film, Mona. Uh, and when you'll watch the film, you'll uh, take her back with you for the performance that she's given. Uh, the beautiful Susanna Mukherjee. And last but not the least, this is a picture of this man. Actually, it's a very interesting story. Love, Sex and Dhoka, which was my first film, this narration was in 2011. So the film has lived with me from there to now. At that time, uh, a leading studio was producing this film. And it's been a long time for them. With me and with this film, because we have started this film in the past five years, and it hasn't started yet because of X, Y, Z reasons. That's why we have decided that we will do it ourselves. Shashi Sudigala, the writer-director of Mona Darling. Uh, so, yeah, the stage is open if you would want to ask us anything or uh, how are we doing this, Ishwinder, Anshul? The film is a friend request on a friend request. And that friend request is on a profile page called Mona Darling. So, it's not like we have a reason for any titillating factor or because it's just grabbing, that's why it's written. ये नाम लड़की का नाम है मोना राहेजा फिल्म में जो किरदार सुजाना प्ले करती हैं और कोई इनके साथ प्रैंक करता है और उनके पेज का नाम पलट के मोना डालिंग कर देता है और ये गायब हो जाती हैं तो क्योंकि फिल्म की नीव उस प्रोफाइल पेज पे बेस्ड है इट वाज ओनली यू नो 
इट मेड कम्प्लीट सेंस शशि ने जब मुझे स्क्रिप्ट पहली बार सुनाई थी तभी उसका नाम मोना डालिंग था तो ऐसा नहीं हमने कुछ चेंज किया है शुरू से इस फिल्म का नाम मोना डालिंग ही रहा है और इसीलिए है इफ यू वुड वांट टू ऐड समथिंग मच व्हाट अंशुमन सेड इट वी नेम्ड इट मोना डालिंग फॉर ऑल द राइट रीजंस होपफुली नॉन ऑफ द रॉन्ग वंस इट जस्ट सो दैट इट्स मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट फॉर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्क्रिप्ट so much so that we couldn't even conceive of making it if we hadn't got yeah. the title yeah uh, I, I, including the underscore in the title actually hamare so, paas yeah. title nahi ye bhi bahut interesting story thi humne picture shuru kar di thi aur title kisi aur ke paas tha bahut hi bade producer ke paas to kafi samay laga title nikalne mein aur humne picture shuru tab tak nahi ki jab tak hame title nahi mila kyunki ye film kisi aur naam se bani nahi sakti thi kyunki film ki neev jaisa maine kaha मोना डालिंग ही है तो दैट्स द रीजन वाई इट्स कॉल्ड मोना डालिंग यार आई एम अ नो बडी टू बैक एनी थिंग टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई एम जस्ट एन एक्टर हु ट्राइंग टू डू गुड वर्क इफ यू पिक अप द काइंड ऑफ फिल्म आई हैव डन इट्स इट गिव यू द रीजन वेदर इट्स लव सेक्स और धोखा बकरापुर चौरंगा these are films with which i have traveled or even x for that matter very experimental but a film i believed in uh we decided to make it together because it's a script i really believe in and i like watching commercial cinema i'm being very honest with all of you this film is the perfect bridge of content which is grammatically correct cinema wise and appealing enough for the masses because the genre itself thrillers is something that appeals to one and all so the idea was to i was eventually going to produce sometime in life not this early but uh, when this film kept shifting hands uh, we were worried ki koi aur social media pe film na bana le because it's a very hot topic in fact we keep discussing this ki we are surprised ki aur filme nahi ban rahi hain in fact hum log wo comments padhte hain ki hollywood ki do filme bani hain unfriended of friend request hum log bahut surprised hain ki sirf do hi filme bani hain duniya mein or just to state facts shashi had narrated this film to me in 2011 so the script is registered from jan 2012 and all these films that people are comparing it to have been made after that so uh, that should put to rest the uh, idea that this is indeed an original screenplay only the backdrop of social media is somewhat similar and we are very surprised ki abhi tak sirf इंडिया में और फिल्में बनी ही नहीं है सो वी वर स्केट कि कोई जल्दी हमसे ना बना ले क्योंकि ये स्क्रिप्ट घूम रही थी मार्केट में चार पाँच साल से एंड दैट्स वाई वी डिसाइडेड टू टेक द जम्प एंड मेक इट नो नो इट्स बिन टेन मंथ्स दिस फिल्म बिगैन इन अप्रिल लास्ट ईयर एंड आई थिंक आई कैन पुट माई नेक ऑन द लाइन एंड से दैट आई फिनिश इट फास्टर देन एनी वन एल्स कैन एंड आई टेक a lot of pride in that yes uh, was it more shocking uh, that uh, bhat saab says ki don't watch mona first of all when you heard about it uh, was it more shocking for you that the guy people loving and uh, the way he promotes the film uh, it's a very interesting story with bhat saab he had called me after love sex with hooka had released aur unhone kaha tha yaar maine teri film nahi dekhi hai lekin meri beti aur biwi ko tu bahut pasand aaya so main milna chahta tha tu cheez kya hai सो so, मैं उनसे मिलने गया और मैं ऐसे ही झल्ले की तरह चला जाता हूँ जैकेट वैकेट पहन के तो उन्होंने कहा तू बच्चे की तरह लगता है तू तीन चार साल काम मत ढूंढ नहीं तो हीरो का काम तुझे नहीं मिलेगा अभी सो फ्रॉम देन आई मेट हिम नाउ बिकॉज वी मेड अ फिल्म विच इज़ अ जॉनर दैट दे प्रोडक्शन हाउस स्पेशलाइज इन एंड ही सेट द ट्रेलर इज ग्रेट बट आई एम गोन टेल पीपल नॉट टू वॉच इट सो येस इट शॉक्ट मी एट फर्स्ट at the same time it made me happy because he said the trailer is good so it didn't make sense to me why is he saying that and he said bachche maine yahi cheez sadak ke bare mein bhi boli thi because the content of the film and the energy that it's reflecting through the trailer is something i have not seen in the recent past so people should digest it differently and therefore this whole marketing idea of an anti campaign came about and he said i will voice it for you because i believe that this is different content which needs to be pushed uh my question is for anshuman sazan and devya you people have worked with sanjay suri sir he is quite senior to you in this industry so how was the experience were you all guys intimidated with him well uh, 
it was uh, it didn't feel like you know he was uh, we've grown up watching him and uh, jankar Stop. beats has don't, don't say that don't make him feel old no i mean yeah I was we've not grown up watching him we were in our teens when we started yeah, watching him the, so yeah the time we used to like actually pay attention to the men in the film i've like, grown I've up watching nasiruddin shah yes. she she grew up late <laughs> <laughs> she that's grew up right, late that's all right <laughs> so anyway but um i think he made us very comfortable in fact my first scene was with him and i was literally shivering i remember and i think it's just his aura the way he is he's so composed and he is he's such a gentleman he'll always make you feel like i didn't feel like a newcomer who was working with him for the first time so uh, he's very warm i think he's one of the most warmest actors i've worked with thank you thank you divya uh i was petrified <laughs> Which is why you're sitting She next still to me is. now. <laughs> I'm still petrified. <laughs> But yeah, I remember the first day you told me uh, you don't have to be like other serious actors and stay in character if you don't want to. You can do it your own way. You don't have to pretend to be a serious actor or stay in the character and stress yourself over this. Just. you know you've learned the lines you know you've done all the work now just get out there and act <laughs> stop pretending to be an actor anti act campaign anti act campaign <laughs> that actually uh, really calmed me down and actually helped me do that day otherwise i would i would have been a wreck that day so thank you i worked with him uh, in choranga so i had this image of sanjay suri before i went on set because i had only met bikas mishra who directed choranga and onir who was uh, one of the producers along with sanjay so my first interaction with him was very strange because he was everything else than what i had imagined so there is a hardcore funny punjabi in sanjay suri and i request the industry to make a comedy with him where he gets to i call him bobby pra with love because uh, he has a side to him which i hope we see in a film sometime soon uh, as an actor he's very giving and i'm not saying that because he's just sitting here it's uh, fabulous for someone as senior as him and as seasoned as him to not just tell you and share with you your exp his experiences but also listen to what you're saying and he always has a ear and he's always open to discussions and always open to ideas which i feel very comforting as an actor because it's never yahi karna hai it's ye bhi kar sakte hain ye bhi kar sakte hain ye bhi kar sakte hain let's jam together and acting is a very organic process so it's great to be with an actor who gives you that space and that freedom and i personally love him he's like uh, an elder brother now he's been guiding me through while i was producing this i think everyone was a little surprised at the pace at which the film's been made and uh, congratulations for that Yeah. And thank you all for such lovely words itni yeah. tareef and uh, it itna umar ka taqaza de diya lekin <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much anshuman suzana divya and uh, shashi thank you for this opportunity to work with gen z <laughs> इसके दो जवाब हैं एक तो होता है कि चैलेंजिंग uh, <coughs> नहीं बट uh, हर एक्टर को हर परफॉर्मेंस से पहले थोड़ी नर्वसनेस आई थिंक uh, वो अच्छी बात है क्योंकि वो आपको uh, आपकी कितनी तैयारी है अगर आप किसी पहाड़ से या आप स्काई डाइविंग भी कर रहे हैं जितना बढ़िया से बढ़िया डाइवर भी हो एक थोड़ी नर्वसनेस uh, क्या करता है कि आपको प्रिपेयर बेटर करता है आप कॉशस होते हैं तो उस तरीके से जब भी मैं परफॉर्म करता हूँ चाहे कोई बहुत मुझसे सीनियर एक्टर हो या कोई नया टैलेंट हो तो एक थोड़ी एक पॉजिटिव नर्वसनेस होती है वो कि आपकी तैयारी है और बट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स टू ऑल ऑफ देम ऑल ऑफ देम इन्होंने मैं बिकॉज ऑफ सम डेट्स रीडिंग्स के लिए ज़्यादा नहीं uh, आ सका था वर्कशॉप्स के लिए बट आप इनका काम देखेंगे और अगर इनके साथ अब आप आगे पिक्चर फिल्म में भी देखेंगे और जब सेट पर दे वो सो प्रिपेयर्ड सो प्रिपेयर्ड दैट आई डोंट थिंक शशि हैड टू गो इनटू थर्ड टेक फोर्थ टेक और समथिंग कोई टेक्निकल फॉल्ट होगा वगैरह परफॉर्मेंस वाइज दे वर फुली प्रिपेयर्ड एंड वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट यस एंड दे ऑल्सो एक्टर्स हु कई एक्टर होते हैं वो अकेले एक्टिंग करते हैं वो दूसरे को सुनते नहीं हैं तो वो 
तो आई लाइक एक्टर्स हु एक्ट विद यू अब आप बात कर रहे हैं आपने सवाल पूछा मैं आपसे जवाब दे रहा हूँ वगैरह अगर आप कुछ बोल रहे हैं मैं किसी और जोन में हूँ तो ये दे एक्ट विद यू सो विच इज़ विच इज़ फिर वो मज़ा आता है फिर सम मैजिक हैपन्स आई थिंक दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड रिगार्डिंग सीनियर्स और जूनियर्स यूर इन अ कैरेक्टर देयर वो पहले थोड़ा सा होता है आई मीन हम भी जब नए आए थे तो यू नो वर्क विद सीनियर एक्टर्स तो एक थोड़ा रहता है कि कैसे बट आई थिंक जस्ट इन सीन और टू ऑल दैट यू जस्ट इट्स अ लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड या दैट्स ऑल अंशुमन आई हैव सीन हिज जर्नी फ्रॉम एल एस डी एंड ही इज एक्सट्रीमली इज अ वेरी नेचुरल एक्टर सो यू आर सिंग इम्प्रूवमेंट मुझे तो जो एल एस डी में जो चाहिए था वही उसने किया चौरंगा में हमारी फिल्म में जो चाहिए था वही किया सो आई डोंट नो इम्प्रूवमेंट एज अ बिकॉज ही वॉज गुड इवन देन जो एल एस डी में चाहिए था वो किया चौरंगा में जो मोना डालिंग में चाहिए था वो किया सो ही इज बीन गुड बट ही इज़ वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग और ही हैज़ वेरी ही हैज़ अ नेचर मुझे याद है चौरंगा जब कास्टिंग हो रही थी तो ये आया डायरेक्टर से मिला कि मैं ये रोल करना चाहता हूँ हालांकि ज़्यादा लेंथ नहीं थी उस रोल में एंड दैट शोड मी अनदर साइड ऑफ एन एक्ट वो आजकल कम देखने को मिलता है कि भाई रोल लंबा नहीं है तो नहीं करेंगे छोटा रोल था बट प्रेजेंस थी इस कैरेक्टर के डायलॉग्स ही नहीं हैं फिल्म में चौरंगा में अगर आप नोटिस करेंगे कुछ गालियाँ थी वो सेंसर आउट हो गई थी तो बेसिकली साइलेंट रोल बन गया था तो बट ही डिड नॉट हेजिटेट एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू डू दैट रोल एंड दैट्स अ साइन ऑफ अ गुड एक्टर यू नो वन ऑफ वन ऑफ द साइंस फॉर श्योर या सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट आई वुड से नॉट इम्प्रूवमेंट इज द रॉन्ग वर्ड बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ हिज जर्नी हीज मूव वेरी फास्ट एंड वन ऑफ द यंगेस्ट और प्रॉब्ली द यंगेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ फिल्म I I produced my first film when I was uh, uh, I think 34, and you are not even in 30s. I think it's 30s. So turning 30 is producer's first film independently, without any studio backing, which is wonderful, commendable. Thank you so much. Thank you. जी चौबीस को हमें बड़ी रिलीज मिल रही है. बड़ा सिंपल सा फंडा है. बहुत मेहनत से फिल्म बनाई है. We want to reach it out to as many people as possible. तो अगर हमें एक्स स्क्रीन्स मिल रहे थे सत्रह को तो एक्स प्लस वाई हो गया है अब तो दैट वाज अ नो ब्रेनर क्योंकि सत्रह uh, को सडनली दो चार छोटी छोटी फिल्में आ गई थी और ऑस्कर uh, वीक शुरू हो रहा है सत्रह से तो इतनी मेहनत करके फिल्म बनाई है इट शुड रीच आउट वेदर द फिल्म वर्क्स डजेंट वर्क दैट्स द फिल्म डेस्टिनी आर एफर्ट हैज़ बिन टू मेक इट विद एन इंटेंशन ऑनेस्ट इंटेंशन and make it entertaining now if it doesn't reach out as much as it can it will be very disappointing so we were getting a bigger release on 24th therefore we didn't even think twice and it's just one week so recent past mein aisa kuch kuch naya nahi hai bangistan ke sath excel ke sath hua tha bangistan was pushed by a week because they were getting more screens uh, so we are not uh, this is not the first time it's happened and i'm sure aage bhi hota rahega so therefore we've pushed it by a week यार ये तो बहुत ही बेहतरीन सवाल है वो नॉर्मली तो... तीन दिन पहले पता चलता है प्रोग्रामर्स बट सी द स्क्रिप्ट इज इज समथिंग व्हिच इज फॉर अ फॉर जस्ट टेकिंग एन एग्जांपल इट्स नॉट एज नीश एज अ से आई टेक माय फिल्म्स नेम एज अ चौरंगा एंड इट इज नॉट अ ब्लॉकबस्टर स्टार कास्ट फिल्म एज द एंटी कैंपेन सेज सो इट विल बी समवेयर इन द मिडल ऑफ वॉट a uh, indie festival film release versus a uh, uh, a film with uh, you know more and more commercial backing so it will be a reasonable number i can assure you that it will be pan india it will be a reasonable number Well, I haven't done one, so I, it would have been fun to do one. But <laughs> I'm not, not disappointed at all because this film was very different, and I knew what I was getting into the moment I uh, heard about it from the, from the for the first time from Anshuman, and when I read Shashi's script. So there's no place for an item number in this. <laughs> it's just a number on the beach, yeah. and beach has no trees, so which is why they said no running around the trees. <laughs> <laughs>
even the song which is there in the film is uh, more like a background to the story going forward. It's not a isolated song piece in itself. And uh, that's the whole beauty of the screenplay which Shashi has written, that everything in the script, be it the characters, the script is the hero, which is the idea behind uh, every film that I have done so far, and which I will continue to do going forward, where the script is bigger than uh, anything else. Because eventually we associate with films if the script works. Uh, and that's the single most important thing that I have learned, whether I have worked with uh, Debakar Banerjee in LSD, or Janaki Vishwanathan, another national award winner in Bakrapur, or Onir and Sanjay, again national award winners in Choranga, that if the script is rich, and if it's something you believe in, then the film will be something you'll be proud of. How well it does or it doesn't is the film's destiny. But that's the basic thought and understanding which I am backing, which I have learned over the past 14 years that I have been here. My first film as an assistant director was Tere Naam, and I was 16 years old then. So between then and now, whatever I have learned is what I have put into practice in terms of script understanding. Uh, be it my work on stage or on screen or as an AD. Uh, Gauri Shinde, who's directed English Vinglish and uh, Dear Zindagi, I was her first, first AD on her first ad when she directed, when she turned director. Uh, so be it her, be it Oshim Haluwalia, I was with Oshim, be it Ram Madhwani who directed Nirja, I was with him for six odd months. I've learned whatever I could during my journey with them. And it's, they've all taught me the same thing, that the biggest thing is the script, even in an ad film. So if you will pick up my ad campaigns, I have done about 12, I have left about 12 after LSD. And they've been because it can't be a generic, even in an ad, there's a story to tell. So it's always the Bible which I follow. And Shashi as a writer is a huge talent, I feel. And we should back good writing talent, and which is what we are going to do as uh, First Ray Films. And uh, yeah, we'll make good films because we believe in uh, content being richer or bigger than anyone and everything else. Rejecting. No, I, I don't think I reject them. Yeah, even I don't. I just like you I accept all them. of them. Ignore Not all of them. I mean, if they're good looking. <laughs> See, this is what. What if the good looking person is not actually good looking at the other end? Maybe it's a fake picture. That's exactly what Mona Darling deals with. Good looking people can kill people too. And good looking people can kill people too. That's true. That would be mine, I guess. That you need to watch. Wait and watch. You, you, you might be getting one tonight. You <laughs> need to watch Mona Darling to figure that out. But may I ask a question to Shashi on your, on like, uh, please, yeah. please. Uh, yeah. uh, I wanted to ask, uh, uh, you already wrote, uh, uh, he wrote uh, the, you know, the entire script and you directed it. Like, how was your experience writing and directing a thriller? You know, it's, I mean, and, uh, I have seen you work for like a week. And it was, I was impressed, uh, really, like, I, yeah, I mean, uh, not because it, it's you, but, like, it's really hard to be a director, you know? I mean, you know, to just go about everything. So how was your experience working with all, like, all of them for the oh, first time? The, I'll, I'll answer the first question first. Uh, the, the writing, directing, you know, or whatever else that comes after it, the trick is in not thinking of the whole, uh, you know, the whole mountain in front of you. The idea is taking it one step at a time. So when you're, when you're writing something, you know, you just write and not really worry about anything else. And then uh, the moment you're on set, then it is somebody else's script. It's, I don't even consider it to be something that I've written because at this point you are, you're just directing the movie. You know, once you're done with that, when we're editing it, somebody else has directed it. Because now I have to approach it with a you know a fresh point of view. So you know that's how I I don't mean to say that's how everybody does it, but you know it seems to have worked in my uh, you know in my case. As far as working with everybody else, I mean the cast that's present here, the rest of the cast, and and our crew and everything. Someone said directing is hiring the right kind of people, the right kind of talent, and then staying the hell out of the way. And I think that's exactly what I've done. I've picked. I tried and picked with, you know, able help from uh, Anshuman. Uh, 
everybody who's played the, the smallest bit part to you know, the main leads, as well as our, our above the line crew, below the line crew, everybody. We have picked the right person for the right job. And then all I had to do was you know, stay out of their way. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. It's a very interesting story with Shashi. I was 10 years, 11 years ago, I was 19 years old. Uh, Shashi was Nagesh Kukunur's associate on Iqbal. Iqbal? <laughs> And I was assisting Subhash Ghai on a film called Black and White. And Shashi had pitched his script to Mr. Ghai. So I read Shashi's first script 11 years ago. It was a film called Cycle Kick and I was blown away by that script also. So uh, yeah, it's interesting how that came to 2011 when he offered me Mona as, a, as an actor because he saw LSD and he had this script which a studio was backing. Uh, and it's, so imagine, I love, fell in love with the script which he wrote then, now this one, and uh, fingers crossed we'll be doing something this summer as well. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks thank guys. You. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Should we remove the chairs and get a picture back with the anti-campaign?